read an article yesterday that made me realize that I think we've gone a little amok in the wash sector and thinking the private sector is going to solve everything. That's what this vlog is about. Look, I like, I like market-based solutions. I, and that's why I studied business and I got an MBA. But that said, I think there are limits to what markets can achieve, especially in low-income countries uh, with poor people. So what, what exactly did this article say? If you look at uh, the U.S. back in the 1800s, you know, water systems were owned by the municipality and, and municipal bonds were typically used to, to finance those water systems. Rural water systems remain heavily dependent on government subsidies. Even in the UK, sewage systems were primarily funded by public finance. Investments in most UK cities were made by loans from the government and also corporate loans and then they were paid back through taxation through uh, basically based on property taxes. The UK even had this crazy system of cross subsidies where they'd have one sector like the energy sector or gas that's publicly owned pay for another sector like sewage. And finally I promise this is the final one, South Korea, more recent example. So you may hate to hear this but the initial injection of funding into the water and sanitation infrastructure in South Korea made available by foreign aid. Yep. Funding of course shifted to taxes and, and later fees for service. Today the government in South Korea continues to provide subsidies for water supply and sanitation. Just keep in mind so public finance was and is important in water supply and sanitation even in strong market economies. And in no country has the market alone solved uh, water and sanitation. So go check out the article right here.